In today's video, we're gonna be reading from Dr. Joe Dispenza's Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. You guys probably remember this book because we were doing lives going chapter by chapter and I left y'all hanging after chapter five. So we're gonna start digging back into this book chapter by chapter, but I'm still gonna break it down into small, really easily consumable videos. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how a lot of us practice suffering and we need to practice the opposite in order to manifest and create a life that we love. In chapter six, he talks about the three different brains. He talks about the neocortex, which helps us to learn information. He talks about the limbic brain, which helps us to feel emotions when we experience or apply the information that we learned. And then he talks about the cerebellum, which is the seat of the subconscious. That's what gets us into routine. That's what gets us into when something is natural to us that we just go into flow. We've heard of that, right? So he gives a brief example of someone who's practiced suffering. You probably know someone who's mastered suffering, right? So you call her and ask how are you? She says, so, so. You say, listen, I'm going out with some friends to a new art gallery, and then we're going to eat at this restaurant that has really healthy dessert. Afterwards, we're going to listen to some live music. Would you like to come? No, I don't feel like it. But if she would have said what she meant, she would have actually said, I've memorized this emotional state and nothing in my environment, no person, no experience, no condition, no thing is going to move me from my internal chemical state of suffering. It feels better to be in pain than to let go and be happy. I am enjoying my addiction for now and all these things that you want to do might distract me from my emotional dependency. But then he goes on to say, guess what? We can just as easily master a chemical state of joy or compassion. It all depends on what you allow yourself to learn. So the things that we're consuming, right? The things you choose to put into practice, into habit, and that dictates what our subconscious mind is accepting as natural. So if we're practicing joy, we're practicing love, we're practicing gratitude, appreciation, those are the things that our subconscious mind is going to continue to hone in on, which means those are the things that we're going to continue to attract more of. We'll easily find ourselves in those types of situations and in those types of environments that promote joy, peace, and love. You guys can find the link to this book down below. We're going to be digging back into this book because I feel like it is so essential that we remember that this is a mental game. This is something that we have to practice on a regular basis. I'm so grateful you guys have watched this video all the way to the end. I love you all for no reason at all. I'll see you soon.